This video was produced as part of a trip to Miami University in Oxford, Ohio in May 2011. We visited the lab of Yoshi to learn the technique of RNAi injection. The red flower beetles used for these injections live and reproduce in flower. So the first step is to sift the beetle cultures to isolate just the larvae. The idea is kind of simple, you just dump it and sip it and put it in here and isolate larvae. But the thing is, these old larvae try to actually go through this mesh really quickly. So if you wait even like 10 seconds, you get a massive amount of larvae like stuck in there. <laughs> and you have to spend an hour like, yeah, one by one. So that's the kind of thing. So to avoid that, you, what you have to do is just keep moving. Just keep shaking, so that's a little tricky. <laughs> All these things are cast of skin, so you don't need it. You can just... Hmm. After collection, larvae of the correct stage for injection must be selected by observing GFP expression under blue light. Based on the GFP expression, beetles of the correct stage for a particular injection can be isolated. Once beetles have been collected, it is time to prepare the injection apparatus. Starting with the needle. These are just the capillaries without any fine dip to them. I usually make sure it just goes a little bit in and tight it okay. and close it tightly. Okay. Just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Pull. Can you see the filament heating up? Mm -hmm. It just gives enough temp enough temperature and pressure to just break it and make it fine. You see, it's like really, really, really fine at the tip. It's like hair thin, maybe like even thinner than that. But it's not finished yet. Next, using forceps, the needles must be broken into a fine point. Here we have three needles. The one on top is one we broke. The one in the middle is the correct one that Yoshi broke. Notice the nice angle at the tip. The one on the bottom is unbroken. In addition to breaking the needle, the apparatus must be prepared for injection. To do this, the double-stranded RNA, as well as the buffer, must be loaded into the needle. The injection needle is inserted into the end of the pipette tip, and the double-stranded RNA solution is slowly drawn up into the needle. Here you can see Rainy doing it in action. Slowly and kind of stopping and letting it see because sometimes it'll just keep moving by itself. And I think the point is to stop about right there. Don't you think? So there's space. Yeah, so you can tell that you're not going up into the tube. Okay, I think that's good enough. Now we're finally ready to knock out the beetles and perform the injection. First, the beetles are knocked out using ether, as Rainy and Thomas demonstrate. So this is the apparatus that they use to put the Etherized. beetles to sleep, etherize the beetles. Um, it's a syringe that's been cut and a little mesh filter has been put on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. 
And um, this is a bottle of ether, with some cotton swab in it, and they just kind of put the beetles in there and then let it sit for a variable time, um, depending on the humidity at the time. So between three minutes, three and a half minutes and five minutes, five minutes would be higher humidity. And um, yeah. The etherized larvae are now mounted onto a slide that was prepared the day before. In the corner you see the way they're supposed to look, but this is Rainy's first try so you can give him a break. Everything is now ready to begin the injection. You can see here on the stage there's the slide with the larvae positioned on it. The needle is also loaded with a double-stranded RNA solution, so we're ready to go. Watch as Nick tries his hand at injecting the larvae. That's surprisingly flexible. I think I'm going to make the needle, guys. There we go. That's in there. Yeah, that's in there. Nice. When the double-stranded RNA solution is injected, the larva actually expands a little bit, as you can see here. Once the needle is removed, you can move on to the next one. As you probably know already if you're watching this video, the double-stranded RNA is processed in vivo to become small interfering RNAs which perform the task of RNA interference, effectively knocking down the targeted gene function. Yoshi and his lab have demonstrated just how useful this injection technique can be in studying gene expression in tripolium. <laughs> 